What's up, everybody? Uh, this is Nutrient Shootouts. I'm doing another quick video update of what I like to do. It's uh, the end of week two for the 3, 4, 5K. And uh, so instead of wasting all these flood and drain newts, which are routinely topped off with water and newted up back to uh, higher PPMs, um, we like to hold on. So, the full line of psychonutrients with the rhizal fuel and the sugar rush. Pump it out from each res, 115 gallons plus, so 230 gallons total. So we put it all to good use. It's pH'd, it's, it's clean, it's got orca, it's got uh, a little bit of cow mag in it, which these plants need, so we're pumping it out from the indoor and we're dumping it five gallons at a time on the outdoor gardens, which we just eagle 20 We just got done eagle 20 and uh, heavy 16ing these guys just a few days ago. Uh, they got a big problem with uh, tomato blight this year, but uh, all the rest of the pumpkins and these tomatoes over here are doing a lot better. And uh, these squash and there's supposed to be some watermelons, which I haven't seen. The watermelon got a little choked out. The, the five gallon buckets kind of beat them down, which is nice because the. Uh, there's some fruit. There's actually a lot of squash in here. Big squash. So, really happy about that. Um, so, we're going to come out and harvest a few of those big squash and look at some of these monsters. And there's more flowers every day, so there's even more fruit. So. so Pulled out a lot of tomatoes prior. All my sunflowers had some really big sunflowers, but I think raccoons or squirrels or something got them. Got this really nice looking weed. That for the longest time it was only a few inches tall, and then as soon as uh, about six weeks ago, and after a few runs worth of newts, and uh, up here in Michigan we've had a pretty good run of of, of dry and wet. Yeah, there's tomato blade on these things too, which I'm going to try to fight. Um, and there's tomatoes mixed in, caged up with pumpkins over here, and this is the only sunflower that had its head, so I've eaten, eaten most of the good sunflower seeds out of this one. They never really fully ripened, but uh, well, this patch has got really thin where the main root systems are. Um, with a little bit of growth here, like this green right here is new. we got one big orange pumpkin there, and uh, another little guy kind of got choked there. Yeah, nice green one there. There's a, another one over here, and then there's a set of three. And then there's one or two big ones on the back side, and a couple arms on the, There's a big ass one here, too. So we're just keeping all these guys fed, and I think there's another one down there, too. But this looks good. Pottery mildew. Did serenade, did eagle 20. Didn't seem to do much to them, but there is new growth. Um, all this stuff actually looks better. And even this stuff looks better. This was looking a little beat down and a little uh, pale. So, back to this right in the nick of time. So, we keep on pumping it out and feeding it. And then we got the gardens and the cabbage and stuff in the back, so. Whew, yeah, so. Now, the back row. The back row never got mulched. And, uh, not as much the sun as I thought. So, really kind of just walked away from it. A lot of stuff that was planted never came up. Got some tomatoes on here, no blight. So it'd be kind of nice to feed these guys and see if I actually I can get some yield off of these little guys. Um, there's just a bunch of weeds right here. And, uh, this is what, lettuce or something? And, uh, a couple sunflowers, and then cabbage which they got all sprayed and they're looking actually they're looking better but that's pretty much all this back row has so not really all that much to report wasn't really as good as a spot as I should have thought and we put a lot of thought into what seeds we're gonna go where but yeah it just I mean we're supposed to have carrots onions um, <clears throat> and a few other things but just like where all this blight is that was all supposed to be sweet corn. My buddy just showed up here to drop off sweet corn. 
But this was all supposed to be sweet corn. These were just uh, tomato plants that I bought to get a jump on the uh, harvest. So, but onward and upward, we'll be doing this for the next hour. So remember to like and subscribe these videos. There's two of them right there. And uh, stay tuned for <coughs> more BHO videos, more um, product reviews on potential purchases for closed loop systems, vacuum ovens, and all the high tech gear to make high quality extracts. And uh, and of course, nutrient uh, shootouts. We're getting uh, lined up after this next harvest in all the tents to start shooting out at least six different nutrients. So, see you later.